Hello. Hi. The Geek Speak show gets two microphones. Wow. <laughs> this is really special, I guess. Hi. Uh, it's stereo. Actually, the cards grab that one and move it close to you. There you go. Hi. I'm a little confused <laughs> as an actor um, because we're in this kind of alternate reality. We're not kind of in it. We're in an alternate reality. All these characters are, um, a few of them have been given, have, have fixed one regret, and that's kind of changed the, 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 um, the world that they live in. And um, Daisy and Simmons are kind of gone in to go rescue the team, and it um, turns out to be much higher than they think it is. You know, I, I think what's very magical about the story is that the showrunners and the writers have come up with a way of being able to, in many ways, take a valentine and send it to all the fans that have been watching the show you know, for 80-something plus episodes. Uh, and at the same time, to allow the actors to be in a new environment in, in new ways. They play the same characters, but they made a choice at some point, and that choice irrevocably changed their lives. And it, and it makes you think about it. So if you've never watched the show before, you could start watching this Tuesday night at 10 o'clock on ABC, 9 o'clock Central. Uh, you could watch it because I think all of us at some point do wonder if I hadn't met that person, if I hadn't taken that job, if I hadn't been speeding when I was in that particular afternoon, you know, those are the kinds of magical things that you get to see and how they unroll with them. The story is not a dream, it's not a big what if, uh, it has consequences, it has moral consequences in the sense that if you die in the framework, you die in the real world, but more importantly, whatever you do in the framework is something that will live and haunt you or make you feel good about, uh, depending upon how it works. And, and then for Daisy and Simmons, they're witnessing it. So they're sort of the audience going in, going, no, 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 you're not like those people. And then now I have to deal with them. And, and kind that's of maneuvering the around the world where Hydra, Hydra rules and um, trying to keep up with the life that their character has been living before they kind of took over their bodies in the framework. Um, but also, at the same time, you know, trying to get everyone out um, without, because if you die in the framework, you die in the real world. So the repercussions are, are real, and um, that's pretty difficult. As an actor, it's definitely made me appreciate just or notice the little things more. I guess you know, like you like you said, just having one one small act of kindness, one left turn to go a different way home. Everything makes a difference, and so that's kind of the the themes that they play with uh, during this last pod. I was just listening. I just feel like they said it really well. <laughs> I'm also incredibly distracted by the fact that Henry and Natalia sweet. over there are, are literally like the greatest physical specimens of all it's time. Right. And you're wondering if they had children, would they just win every Olympic <laughs> decathlon thing them. ever? Like they would just, it's not fair. It's it says, says one of the most beautiful women in the world. Go ahead. Yes, I've been playing this guy since Beginning. 2007, sporadically and then intensely. And it's one of the great things about working in a world that's driven so much by imagination and a different, broader set of rules that suddenly he's in a completely different world with a completely different history, a full lifetime of history. This is a different person with his own other heartbreaks and uh, was never in S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> and he's living in a world where various people's regrets have been cured and one of those 
cure of regrets leads to a world where inhumans are persecuted and Hydra's in charge. So it's such a thrill to get to play this very different guy who sometimes is goofy, who's not necessarily heroic, sometimes is very unheroic. And it's a really, uh, it's one of the reasons I love my job, to be able to have that kind of breadth of things to play. Um, what was all your reactions when you saw, um, you know, like all of them, they, like Fitz making out with Ada, she's a Hydra, and then Brett is, his character is now like a double agent for, for S.H.I.E.L.D. So what was the reaction when you saw these, well you wrote it, but what was the reactions that you saw when you saw that? Yeah. Well, we just watched the episode now at the panel, um, and I was really grossed out by Ada. <laughs> and I felt like I was my I, my my shipping um, your, your crush inner fan was girl. getting yeah was like getting crushed. Um, so that was weird for for me, and the audience was like audibly disgusted, <laughs> um, which I think means they did a really good job because it just shows how much Vincent Simmons I think it should be together. Um, in terms of Brett, I think I think. It's such a great way for people who are, you know, are huge fans of Brett, and obviously for us to get to kind of have Brett back. And um, uh, in a way, it's some moments of a relationship yeah. that Sky and Ward never really got, never to, really got to have, even before we right. knew really where he was going. Right. I gotta say, <laughs> but Daisy I think a knows, lot of shows yeah. <laughs> they show the episode and everyone goes out and has a smoke. Yeah. And in this case. Everybody, we haven't, we haven't seen them. We work so hard on them, and yeah. we haven't seen them. And our whole cast kind of went down to the front of the audience and play around together on the on the rug, yeah. the gross ass rug, yeah. <laughs> and um, sure, sure. Watch our hands. and watch that uh, and watch the episode together and kind of we're elbowing each other like. Wow, you we never get to that. watch them together. So most of the country sees the episodes before we do. Which is we weird because we all live together in this big house. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> we all sit in the same bed. Um, they never leave the stage. They yeah. actually stay on the ship. <laughs> we do. We might as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.